And so the question that we're going to attack now is what is the value of i raised to the exponent i, an imaginary unit i raised to an imaginary unit i. We're going to use uh, Euler's formula to evaluate uh, i raised to the exponent i, and Euler's formula tells us that e to the exponent i z is equal to cos of z plus i sine of z, and we're going to consider what happens when z is equal to pi by 2. So as z is equal to pi by 2, substituting, we will end up with e raised to the exponent i times pi by 2 will be equal to e, whoops, no, it won't be equal to that. It'll be equal to cos of pi by 2 plus i times the sine of pi by 2. And now let's uh, simplify that. We're, knowing that we uh, the sine of pi by 2 is equal to 1 and the cos of pi by 2 is equal to 0, we now have that e to the i pi by 2 will be equal to uh, 0 plus i sine of pi by 2. And sine of pi by 2 is equal to 1. So that tells us that e to the i pi by 2 will be equal to a value of i. Now let's box that in because that's pretty important information. So e to the i pi by 2 will be equal to i. So, now that we've established that i is equal to e raised to the exponent i pi by 2, recognizing that this is uh, the basis of natural logarithms, so we're going to convert this exponential equation into its equivalent ln form. And with lons, we, we know that this is our base, and this is our exponent, and uh, lons are equal to exponents, except that they're natural base, so we're going to write ln of i, with a base of e, of course, because that's what natural logs are, are equal to the exponent. Lons are equal to exponents, so it's equal to i pi by 2. So ln of i, therefore, is equal to i times pi by 2. And this is, this is uh, pretty important. What we're going to do now is we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by the imaginary unit. Multiply both sides by the imaginary unit i. And so we'll have i times the ln of i equals to i times i pi by 2. In other words, i times the ln of i is equal to i squared times pi by 2. And of course, we know that i squared, definition of the imaginary unit, i squared is equal to minus 1. So this tells me that i times the ln of i will be equal to negative pi by 2, negative 1 times pi by 2. Let's box this in before we proceed to the next step. And so now that we have i, ln of i is equal to negative pi by 2, let's use our properties of logs. And our properties of logs says that we can rewrite this with a, a product, a ln of a, a product multiplied by a ln is, is the ln of the um, uh, argument raised to the exponent. So this means that we can rewrite this as ln of i raised to the exponent i is equal to negative pi by 2. And that's great because now I've got um, a logarithmic equation and I'm going to convert this now, convert it to exponent form. And converting to exponent form means that we will we'll identify the base and the exponent. And we know what the base is. The base is the base for uh, common uh, natural logs, which is base e. And we know that lons are equal to exponents, and so uh, minus pi by 2 is the exponent. And so now I'm going to rewrite this as um, e to the exponent negative pi by 2 is equal to the argument, which is i raised to the exponent i. And so now I have an equation that tells me what i raised to the exponent i is. 
and i raised to the exponent i is simply a real number a real number that can be evaluated on your calculator using uh, e to the exponent negative pi by 2. And that means that i to the exponent i is equal to negative, uh, positive, sorry, positive 0 0.2078, um, or I'm going to round that off to 0 0.208.